So folks, there's the, the tower house there. And there's the lovely church spire. Oh, people live in that church now. It's a massive place. Really, really big church for... Sit south of North Horrington is the name of the village, apparently. So it could have always been a, once been a proper village church. But this is where people probably could walk. Um, this could have been highly decorated, this area. You know, lawns and things for all we know. We'd have to go on, on a site to see exactly um, what this would have looked like. I reckon it would have been landscape this bit. I reckon it would have. I think that's obviously new there, but this is all the land. This is like more, this is, they would have had more land than this even. Um, you can tell by the beautiful trees and everything. This was a very good um, diversion today. <coughs> I was supposed to go to the cathedral. I still got time to go there, but I might not have any video by the time I get there. They don't like you videoing in there anyway. But uh, this was a good move, what I've done today, because like I say, if the 126 is going, <coughs> when I get a vehicle, it won't be my top priority to come and visit here if you see what I mean. I'll be visiting family tree stuff. Yeah. So it's interesting. So we've done the grounds. We walk around it. Very very quiet. I I saw a few cars. I didn't see any people. I didn't see on a sunny day. I never seen anyone sat outside. <coughs> I never heard the sound of children. Maybe they're all up in London. They could all be up in London, couldn't they? At the Queen's vigil, lying in state. Somewhere like that would have organised a coach. I would have thought. That's what happens if you're in a village or a small community. There's always someone who will organise something. And I pro I would have been persuaded to if... Um, <coughs> I mean, normally I would have probably done it, but... I'm not going to put that as a failure in my bucket list or anything, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. I've had the telly on the whole time. Um, nothing's the same as, uh, I mean, I've never saw her in real life. I don't think I have. And so basically, I, um, I haven't seen her in death either. So, so basically, I will go and visit Windsor Castle and pay my tribute then to the whole, all the family there. No, I didn't think. I mean, they've, they've even decided to cancel any more people going. The queues are five miles long. And they, even with what they've got now, they don't written they'll be able to get everyone through in time to stop. Because they will be stopping, I think, where well, they were going to go on to hop six in the morning, Monday morning, but I don't know if they will. Those poor guards. They, I hope they've got quite a few of them that guard the the coffin and everything but I should imagine they have anyway here we are we're leaving this mental what was a mental hospital with its long long driveway you can imagine when you were one of those patients being driven here or patients that would pace up and down this road if they were allowed on this bit yeah, there's a whole history. I knew nurses that worked here. Those that, when it closed, and uh, they all had to be redeployed. You know, I spoke to many of them. I met ex-patients of here that moved into little villas and 
little communities outside when they had to go out back out into the community. It was very difficult for the institutionalised ones and the staff. Whole families had worked at mental hospitals. Grandfather, father, son, mother, grandmother, sister, daughter. They, they were all uh, heartbroken, I think. So anyway, we're coming back out now. There's the gatehouse. All private now. They'd never be able to build them like they do, like the Victorians built these though. No one would ever put the money up to build like they did. They put bills, what they build these days you can take down in 20 years. They don't keep nothing. They don't build to last. So here we are, so, some wells that way path, 18 miles, wells. Wells one and a half miles. I'm going back along the track that I was um, using earlier where the golf course is. I'm going back that way and um, then I'm going to, to find the track that will take me up into the wood and down in back down into town. That's the plan today. It's been it'll be a really good day. But I've got to turn off the um, because I didn't bring the spare battery charger either um, and the other camera is only partially charged and it doesn't take photos at the moment it, it's got, it does sometimes so folks, I'm going to end here I'll come back on a bit later when I'm in the wood I might take the odd photo but I took a lot on the way up, over and out this is Sheila, September the 17th, 2022. <coughs> the third day of Queen Elizabeth II lying in state at Westminster Hall, London. Like I said, I've had it online. The, ver the whole thing is on all the time, changing of the guards all the time, every 20 minutes. Over and out, everyone. Here's the golf course now, leading back. Computer played up for a little with the Kodak. It does always plays up after it's been on for a while. It seems to have to have a half an hour rest. Anyway, I'm going up a track now, heading for the wood and then back into Wells. I've met two interest, two couples. One used to look after the mental hospital cemetery. They looked after it for about 20 odd years. It wasn't open today, the cemetery, as uh, said earlier. But I met, also met the ex, the last matron type person. Um, the last matron type person. It looks like we're backtracking. Um, <coughs> who worked at Mendip Mental Hospital. So I was talking to her and her husband for ages and uh, their son had written a book all about the hospital. They're trying to find it because he did lots of detailed information in it. It would be really good record. Um, there was somebody called Joan Woodward or something like that who was a cadet nurse in 1968 she did apparently a really good account of her nursing career from being in 1968 to being in the NHS later, just like I was. <coughs> I might even know her. I'll try and get hold of that book. Anyway, so I spoke to them for quite a long time talking about the old mental hospital and everything. Right, so here we are in the wood. I need to pull my sock up, it's rubbing on my toe at the moment. But I'll just do a little bit in case the camera decides to back up. I do need it really for when I go in the um, cathedral. 
otherwise I'll have to have another visit in the week. If I can't make it today, I'll come over in the week if there's no film. I didn't bring the spare charger either. There's plenty of memory. I've got 64 gigabytes. Now what nobody said was that, so I wonder if you have to go that way. What nobody said was that there was a, how close a golf, ball, golf course is. It looks to me that there was a path down there as well that could be taken. This is all Nick, what I call my exploring day today. I've heard the golfers and uh, you can see that it's all levelled out there. What happens when the, when the camera gets in this state and you turn it off, it, it won't come on again. So I'm just doing a little bit about the wood. I am going to turn it off though. Folks, I'm up on the Wells Golf Course. I keep hearing a whistle blowing, but I don't know if that's to do with people hitting a ball. Now he said there's some sort of drove. He followed the golf course round. It's a public footpath. Like I said, this is all exploring. I have never done this before. Never. Hold on, I'm not surprised he died actually. He smokes such a lot. No, I didn't say that really, but he did. He was a heavy smoker. They all were. Simon, I swear I remember Simon. He might have been a mentor of mine. I've got no idea where they hit. They're obviously hitting towards this flag somewhere. I don't know where from though. Oh, another golf course that I haven't ever visited before. God, I hope I haven't got to go through a cow field. It's exciting though, this, isn't it? It really is good. I'm really enjoying it. Meeting interesting people. And fancy that on the day I came here, by pure spontaneity, I not only met the chapel and cemetery caretakers retired now but I also met what would have been the equivalent of a matron the last one that ran that hospital very interesting just got to take a picture of this there's a drove an old drove she kept saying about the old drove I carry on the old drove just taking a beautiful image of Glastonbury in the sunshine, which I was up a couple of weeks ago. And the heat during the heat wave I climbed that. Let's get that in. There it is. Yeah, I just managed to get a couple of shots of the mental hospital from a distance, but the golfers were coming. It was a really good view from the golf course. Um, I just managed to get a couple of shots because they were hitting up towards me. <laughs> so I had to get out. Not that is. Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? So we're on the drove now, we're supposed to be going into the wood. 
This could be part of the bits I've seen people emerge once before when I was doing the lower track, going towards that little village in the middle of nowhere to, to see their church. Yeah. See, so there's a gate there. It doesn't actually tell you whether you, you've got to turn off and go across a field or anything. So I'm just going to carry on down the drill, I think. Because the wood I want is over there. So I don't want to be moving too far away. So I'm just going to carry on down the drove, I think. So I'm going to turn off just to save a bit of uh, battery life, really. Um, And like I say, if I run out of film for the cathedral, then I'll come back another day before the bus stops. I'll do another visit and then do Epigorge as well. I did want to pop in there today if I can. Depends how long this stage of the walk is going to take. Over and out for now.